Hi guys, so in today's video, I really wanted to quickly talk to you about some of the ways that you can take your art printables that you are creating for your Etsy shop right now. And maybe either now or in the future, you can think about kind of maximizing their earning potential. And this is something that I didn't really think about when I first started my Etsy business. I just thought I wanna just take create art printables, put them on Etsy and let them sell on Etsy and it wasn't until a little bit way down the line that I started to really think about the additional potential that you could really have with those products because at the end of the day they are digital products that can be sold in a multitude of different ways and not only that but your very brand that you're creating your very business that you're creating can help you create additional forms of income so basically I'm creating this video because one of my awesome members of my private Facebook group that I have with the art printables on Etsy course she basically messaged me on the Facebook group and asked me if there were any additional ways that she could think about taking the art printable designs that she's creating and selling on Etsy and she could think about finding different ways to monetize them whether that's selling them or just basically creating different businesses online that maybe are related to that but not directly selling that product and so I really wanted to talk about this and create a video around this because I think it's such an interesting topic because it's kind of realizing the potential of digital products. I think when we think about if, for example, if you create a mug, uh, a physical mug, and you sell that physical mug on Etsy, you kind of imagine that obviously when you create that mug, it sells, then you package it up and you ship it out to somebody and it's always with them from then on. So you don't really have any control over that product anymore. But I find that it's really not the same with digital products because digital products, once you've done that work and you've created that product, it has endless potential of where it can go and what it can do for you. And basically, I like to almost think of them as seeds in a sense, because all you really need to do is find the right fertile ground for that digital product to thrive. And then you can keep just planting it and it will grow, planting it and it will grow, planting it and it will grow. And I, that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love digital products because there's just so much potential behind them. And that's why in this video, I really wanted to just give you guys just some ideas. Some of them I do myself, some of them I know that other people do as to what you can do with not only your digital products, but with the very online business that you are creating that can help you monetize it a little bit more or scale it a little bit bigger. So I think when most people think about creating digital products, for example, creating art printables on Etsy, they think perhaps the, the second way to monetize them is to look for di other digital platforms to sell their digital downloads on. And that's definitely a way that you can do that. You can take your digital products that you sell on Etsy and you can just add them to different platforms. Now, I haven't personally found a lot of additional digital selling platforms that I feel comfortable selling on. I'm gonna list a couple of them in the description below that you might wanna try out, but I this isn't really, to be honest, a method that I have decided to go down. I prefer that when I'm selling my digital art printables to sell those on the Etsy platform because I just find it just so much easier and just more kind of um, simplified for me to do and I just find it an easy setup but that might just be because I started on Etsy so I feel more comfortable with it but I know that there are other platforms that you can indeed sell those art printables on and that's definitely an option that you could go for. However, the other options that you could go for are some of the ones that I have done myself. So the next option that you could go for is once you've created those art printables, you could decide to turn them into dropship products instead. So you could decide to take, for example, an art printable design that you have and convert that into a physical art printable that somebody can purchase. And you can do that within your Etsy shop. So you can actually expand your range within your Etsy shop. So you can have digital art printables that you offer but also in the exact same shop you could have the physical version of those digital art printables that you use a drop shipping company which I'm going to be talking more about in my YouTube channel and potentially in my Facebook group as well in the future about how I personally do that but yeah it's it's fairly simple once you get the hang of it but there are 
definite steps and tricks and tips that you know are more in depth than just this quick video to talk about but yeah you could definitely take those art printables use a drop shipping company for example i'll use printful and convert them into physical products that you can sell and basically you don't have to do a lot more work apart from a couple of clicks on the Printful website in order to ship that product out to your customer. So that is definitely your first option. But then also, if you want to, you can take those exact same designs that you have on those art printables. This is especially good if you find that you have art printable designs that are really getting popular, they're really growing in popularity, they're making lots of sales as art printables, and you may decide to use a drop shipping company to create additional types of products so not just art printables but you could take so not so not just physical art prints you can actually take those art printable designs and you could convert them into mugs and tote bags and towels and cushions and whatever it is that you think would work well within your shop and that's another really useful way to kind of take the designs that you have and really make the most out of them and that works as, like I said especially well if you see that a design or a particular theme or a collection of art printables is having a really exceptional reaction in your shop that it may be worth creating additional products that the, your customers can purchase that are centered around that same theme so that's definitely an option and lots and lots of etsy sellers have both digital art printables or digital products in their shop alongside physical products and lots of those use drop shipping companies in order to make that as low maintenance as possible for themselves. But you could alternatively choose to take those digital art printables that you have, convert them into dropship products, whether that be dropship art prints or different types of dropship products that you want to create. And you can actually go externally from Etsy and then utilize platforms that don't offer the option for sellers to sell digital products, but do offer the option to sell physical products. So for example, places like Amazon and Not On The High Street are two places that I know that myself, but also a couple of my other friends who also sell digital products online and then drop ship them get a bit complicated but then turn them into dropship products sell their products on places like amazon as well and yeah it's a great way to again utilize the designs that you have the art printable designs that you've created create them and turn them into something else that's fairly easy to control like a dropship product and then use an entirely different platform that wouldn't have originally let you have your art printable design on there and to start growing a business on there as well so yeah i i do this myself i have both an etsy shop and amazon shops and my amazon shops actually sell the physical versions of my digital products that i sell on etsy but i also sell the physical version of my digital products on Etsy. So I'm really maximizing not only the potential from one art printable to turn it into multiple things and have it on multiple platforms, but also to give my customers more options, more options in the sense of what type of product they want, whether it's digital or physical. And although I don't do this myself yet, this is something I'm definitely looking into, which is creating alternative products so that I could then give my customers the option to, if they don't want to buy an art printable, but they like those designs that like that theme that like that style they might want that on a mug or a tote bag or a cushion or whatever it is so you can definitely have that element as well so the different kinds of products but then also giving my customers the option to actually not have to buy it through etsy because lots of people might feel more comfortable to buy through amazon and my amazon shops do equally well as my etsy shops do and sometimes i have months where my amazon shops are actually doing better than my etsy shop my etsy shops doing better than my amazon shop and it's just kind of it kind of shows me that there are different seasons and different times and sometimes my audience are, are scaling better on amazon and sometimes they're scaling better on etsy so definitely when you're ready to start scaling the earning potential of a single design that you have or a single art printable collection and you're looking for additional ways to turn that into different products or different ways to bring in income, then there are tons of options out there. You just kind of have to think about how you're gonna get from one step to the other. I wouldn't say rush to do this, 
definitely build up your art printable collection build up your shop discover what's selling what's not you know really get a feel for your target audience and what they want before you start rushing out to the drop shipping side because the drop shipping side is a lot more fiddly and i really do recommend using your art printables as a way to play and experiment and really learn what your customers are looking for but when you feel ready when you feel like yes i'm getting consistent sales i feel like i know what products are really selling in my shop and i want to try and you know maximize the earning potential that is from these products and yeah you can definitely think about converting them into slightly different products and also using different platforms so it's definitely a, definitely a route that you can try or a route that you may like to go down to scale your income the next option that you could do is perhaps not so much utilizing the products that you have in your shop although you can still promote and push these in, the, in this way but perhaps it might be utilizing the brand and the business that you are actually creating so if you're finding that you're building an audience you're growing your email list you're actually getting strong interaction through selling your products especially if you're somebody who perhaps actually draws or designs or paints the artwork that you're putting onto your art printables or you're finding that people are just really loving your style or the look and the theme of your brand and what you represent then you might find that the the route to scale your income or the route to scale your online ventures may be that you actually capitalize on that element and that might be through deciding to create something like a blog so for example if you are creating art printables and you're finding that your audience really love your style you're building your email list people are really enjoying you know the look the theme that you go for then you may decide that you might want to create something like a home decor blog or a blog for arts and crafts or a blog that's centered around your brand and your style and your theme and then once you've created a blog there's a whole host of different ways that you can monetize that blog that kind of takes it out the stratosphere of just being an Etsy shop to being an entire thing people can come to your blog and explore your blog and utilize and you can utilize different monetization methods within that but then they can also you can also still direct them to your etsy shop in order to purchase your items as well this is a whole huge subject about kind of finding multiple avenues to drive your audience around and it's way too big for me to just kind of explain it all in this little video that I'm creating so if you want to know more about perhaps how you could utilize the brand that you're creating in your Etsy shop and you can actually move that into something like a blog then definitely let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to create a video on that something that I've actually been doing for about a year and a half I chose personally to go down the route which kind of doesn't help my Etsy sales so much but it's a way to kind of use the skills that I have gained from building my Etsy shop and help others do the same so that was what I was really passionate about I was passionate about the business side so I actually decided to create a blog that was around helping people create online businesses because that's what I'm passionate about but I also know lots of people who do really exceptionally well by creating blogs that are directly around their products so it can be blogs that show people the behind the scenes of how they create those products especially if you're an artist or if you're somebody who's very creative and you really want to use a blog to help people get involved and get inspired about your artwork and the brand that you're creating that's a really great way to use a blog to not only drive in traffic but you can also so use things like affiliate income and creating additional products and utilizing things like advertising and even sponsorships if that's the side that you want to go down if you want to create something that encompasses everything in it and it's a really fun thing to do as well especially if you're a creative person so there are tons of ways that you could take the brand and the business side of what you are creating and you can actually expand that by creating a blog creating an online website that people can actually see the whole picture or see behind the scenes of your business or for example if you are creating art printables and you want to talk much more in depth about home decor or giving gifts or whatever element that you want to go into it's definitely a way that you can tie those two together and build them together so that's a really good and bigger way that you can take your little Etsy shop and you can help it grow and expand outside of Etsy as well 
And finally, and this is, I'm saying finally, but there are lots more different ways that you can basically take your Etsy shop or take your art printables and you can really find different ways to monetize it. And this is, you can actually create something like a YouTube channel and over time you can monetize and build that. So for me, I have created my YouTube channel around my own experience with building my online businesses. For me, that's the way that I've really enjoyed doing it. It's the way that I love to do it. But you can definitely, go the completely different route and like I said if you're artistic or if you're into the creative side of your business then you could definitely create videos that teach people what you do or show people behind the scenes of what you do if you're an amazing artist or if you do something special you could definitely show people that element of things and of course you can monetize YouTube once you've hit a certain level so it's a great way to start to scale your income outside of Etsy but still utilizing your business. It's also a great traffic driver because obviously if you're doing it in the right way and you're creating the right type of videos, you can also guide that target audience to your shop to purchase your items. So again, if you are creating art printables, you might want to be talking about the process and the behind the scenes process to get people inspired. Or you might want to talk about it in a more home decor way. So you might want to create a YouTube video all about designing room or home decor pieces that you love, especially if that's something you're really, really passionate about and you really like creating home decor or you like creating wall collages or whatever it is that is a fun add-on element to your actual shop. So there are tons of different ways that you can use YouTube to not only create its own income because once you hit a certain point, you can start monetizing your videos. It does take a while to do, so just be aware of that. So you might wanna start building it up now so that you eventually reach that point where you can start monetizing your videos. But it's also a great way that in the meantime, you can also build an audience outside of Etsy. You can build a YouTube audience that you can drive to to your Etsy shop to help grow and boost your sales of your products. So, and you're also giving your audience something that little bit more special when it comes to your Etsy shop, a way to see behind the scenes or a way to visualize your products in their home. So these are just some of the ways that you can start to when you're ready to, when you feel like you want to start expanding your business, whether it's to take your actual products and start looking for ways that you can utilize, utilize those products in, on different platforms or maybe on Etsy itself but in a different way there are lots of different ways that you can start to do that but then also how you can utilize the business that you are creating the online business that you are growing when it comes to your Etsy shop your art printables the name behind it the branding you have the social media and the marketing that you have how you can start to utilize that to expand your business in whatever way you want so yes if you want to you can stay as an art printable seller on Etsy you can focus and just keep it that way if that's how you want it to be but if you do want to expand however which way you want to do that whether that is in products or if that is in your business in general there are lots of different ways that you can take that and you can do that online and that's one of the beauties of digital products and that's one of the beauties of a digital online business is it's there are so many different options and different ways for you to scale it and kind of make the most out of every element of it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe it's given you some ideas that even if you don't want to do that yet, you're just focusing on your Etsy business, which is absolutely the best thing to do. Build one element of your business at a time so that when you are ready or if you do ever want to scale it or do something different with it, you have a good foundation before you try and jump. I do find a, you do get quite a few people who try and do everything at once and I was one of those people when I started that I tried to do it all at once and I just couldn't sustain it. And to be honest, I very much learned to focus on one element, build it to the level that I'm comfortable with it, put strong foundations in there, then go along and start to, you know, focus on building and scaling other elements of it. Think bigger when it comes to this business that you're creating. It's not just an Etsy business, it's a business, an online business full stop. So there are tons of different ways that you can continue to grow it if that's something that you want to do.
so if you are thinking about creating an art printable business maybe you haven't decided to do that yet or maybe that's one of the ways that you're thinking about creating an online income stream or if you already have an art printable business but you're just not sure about it you don't know how to build it you don't know how to scale it you feel like things and elements are missing in it then it definitely might be worth you checking out my art printables and Etsy course I have a huge sale that's coming up it's the big 50% off sale that I hold every now and again throughout the year where you get 50% off the art printables on Etsy course plus the private Facebook group the private Facebook group I am in the process of turning that into a paid subscription I am literally figuring out how to do it right now so if you are if you do want to get into the private Facebook group before I do eventually turn it into a paid subscription then like I say get it now because I can't guarantee when I'm going to finally have everything ready so I can just flip it over to a paid subscription but if you already are on the private Facebook group if you've already got it free with the art printables Etsy course now then you'll forever be a free member of the group so it'll only be people who purchase after I've turned it into a paid subscription that will have to pay for the paid subscription and that makes sense but yeah if you are thinking about taking the course I definitely recommend joining the waiting list grabbing that extra 15% off that you can before the sale comes out so that you get it at a huge discount and then yeah enjoy creating your art printable business and knowing that there are tons of different ways you can continue to grow it and scale it and do whatever you want with it in the future and most importantly it's an awesome Awesome place it's an awesome online business to learn so many of the skills that you need to build online income and to help you mentally become prepared for building an online business so I hope to see you in the next video guys I'm sorry if this one was quite waffly but I get very passionate about the idea of being able to scale and grow online businesses and just there's so much potential in all of them that it's just really fun it's fun to create these businesses and see them grow and choose how you want to grow them so I hope this video inspires you or gives you some ideas of how you could take that business and scale it in the future. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye!